sky. It's just, it's incredible to look at what I'm seeing right now. We'll take you uh, on the camera now, and you can see that, I mean, there's just earth that's just gone, right? And it ended up in this person's front yard, at least in part. You can see two cars there, one partially submerged in some mud, another one, presumably th that white mass there, that looked like it was uh, somebody's maybe carport. You can still see the water is still moving underneath that car. There is a car buried underneath that, uh, that temporary structure there. Come on and zoom out just a little bit for me, Christine, our photographer, thank you so much. And as we look up the hill a little bit, there are your railroad tracks that Peter was just talking about that you guys have been alluding to down there on the ground. I, I, this is just, it confounds me that the railroad tracks are still there, but there is nothing underneath them. And so as a reminder, MBTA is uh, busing, uh, replacing that service between Wachusett and Shirley, uh, in their words, until further notice. This is going to take a long time to shore up this sort of thing. And as we've been showing you all afternoon, it's sinkhole after sinkhole after sinkhole. And that's just what we can see right now. The days to come will reveal maybe some of the weak spots that the water has caused underneath some of the area roadways. This is going to be a long-term assessment going on here in Lemon.